Speaking of the Olympics, is my big circular logic coming back to it. He Tyler here always tells me stories about when he was playing. He said he oh he he definitely made me not want to play it because of these reasons. He said that when you're playing water polo, it gets so violent under the water, and so many people would just grab him by the scrot. I didn't <laughs> say so wish. many people. <laughs> I told you of one story in particular where people <laughs> where somebody grabbed my teammate. This was when I first joined water polo. It was sophomore year of high school. And my friend Riley Kurtz, we were playing a team that was notably played dirty, who we ended up beating in the state championship uh, my senior year, which is why we called it the Vengeance Tour. We were beating all the teams that beat up on us. Mm -hmm. But this guy had literally grabbed his, his testicles and squeezed. And my friend put him in a headlock and started like slamming him into the water. Wow. So my question is, <laughs> do people play dirty at the Olympic level? Because I don't know, were there cameras underwater when at the Olympics? There are, yes. Yeah. You're always going to have, in every sport, the dirty player. Oh, yeah. Right? I mean, you look in basketball, like what was the guy who was talking to LeBron and saying, Draymond you know, Green? Or Draymond. <laughs> oh, there someone else. But there was the other the guy before that, Dylan Brooks, uh, I think. Uh, Brooks, oh, right? Was it Brooks? Or was it? From Memphis. I think that said, like, I poke bears or something. Yeah, that might be it, yeah. what I mean, look, you're always going to have those guys. Now, in water polo, yes, you're a little more exposed because all, <laughs> all they see is what's, what's above water. But as you get more comfortable and at a higher level, it, it really becomes almost impossible to grab, right? So, like, I played my entire career... I got grabbed twice, and they were when I was younger by a dirty team at the Olympics, and I was picked on because I was the smallest guy in the world for five Olympics or for four of the five. Never, never got anything grabbed down there because my hips were never down. Meaning, yeah. if my hips aren't down, if my hips are down, it's like you and I standing face to face. Well, you can grab me, but if I'm like this and my hips are behind me. You can't grab me. The only thing you can do is grab my head, which would mean you're kicked out of the game. Yep. Oh, really? It's That's above the water. If anything out of the water, you grab someone's head, you're out of the game, right? Wow, it's, I didn't know it's that. It's the exclusion fouls or the, the kick outs, as we'd call them. He was talking about it. I wasn't listening. He, he did a whole primer on water polo <laughs> for me, and he explained it all, and I, I listened half the time. It's, it's, I swear. <laughs> you were also really tired that day, in all fairness. Yeah, that's fair, yeah. But also, it was, <laughs> the way he was describing it was really boring. He can't, no, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs>